Hey guys, Frank here, your virtual general aviation aviator. And it's been a while since I have done any uh, recording. Primarily because uh, I use X-Plane and my sim has been misbehaving. Um, it's not really crashing to desktop, but I did something and I, huh, I was just about to say I lost my buildings, but now they're back. <laughs> uh, let's see, that's odd. Anyway, yeah, they are back. Uh, oh, I know what I did. I copied from a backup. I copied some of the scenery files from my backup and and that's why that's fixed okay so that's why I got buildings I actually am going to abandon this KRD I'm at KRDU Raleigh Durham and this is a payware scenery package and I'm actually go am going to abandon this package I I like it so, so much one of the reasons because um, this building is really close to the real thing um, it's not exact but it's closer than anything I've seen so I love that object and these buildings here are not bad but the runway, the taxiway, taxiway Charlie, which is this taxiway here, is broken. I, I can't taxi over this without um, the plane sinking into the pavement and crashing. Also, here at the very top, um, this traffic is from Traffic Global, um, but there's another runway I can't seem to recall the, uh, my, my camera's not on. Uh, let me pop myself in. Okay. Um, I can't, I don't seem to recall what this taxiway designation is is but um, here's a taxiway to to get to get from uh, let's see if I can to get from five left over here your taxi and it takes you to five right but uh, but let's see um, but see how it's made with this with this terrain difference here this this wall so if you taxi and you fall off this wall you crash and if you're trying to get from taxiway Bravo which is five right to to five left um, which is right off of Alpha, you can't get there this way because because you can't get over this terrain. Um, you know, it's so so. And I did try a pay a a freeware version. Um, looked like the freeware version was having a similar problem but anyway um so i am going to scrap my entire x-plane setup and start from scratch okay so i've got 
I've got a ton of plugins that I am going to have to reinstall. I'm also going to have to reinstall my ortho uh, XP scenery um, as with my scenery let me just uh, kind of show you some of this stuff that I'm talking about uh, let's see let's uh, so I've got in the custom scenery I've got all this stuff that's gonna have to be reinstalled okay and so you can see it's quite a list of customization items and I've got uh, let's go to resources and plugins and I've got a few plugins plugins are not that not that big of an issue to reinstall as long as you can find them uh, so what I thought I would do is try and record my the process of me rebuilding my sim uh, for, for some of you guys who are new um, to explain and you want to improve your scenery then maybe by watching what I do um, I might be able to share some tips and um, and we'll just see how how it goes um, now let's, see, let's go back here to Amazon and I just ordered um, a two terabyte a two terabyte um, SSD drive that I am going to um, put in back one now. of my slots um, but I also had to order this guy which is a an adapter so I can put it in one of my put it in a slot I've got um, I've got to explain running on a one terabyte SSD and right now on that one terabyte SSD I am down to to a hundred and 39 gigabytes of free space and you probably know by now that with with hard drives or drive space you do need some free space for the dynamic caching ability of the hard drive um, so I let's see Compress this dry to save space. I'm gonna turn that on. I don't. I hope it doesn't hurt anything. Um, and apply to. You have chosen to make the following attributes compress. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I might get a couple of gigabytes at some point that I can use um, but the plan is to install X-Plane on the 2 terabyte drive and just allow that to house most of the um, most of the 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 ortho um, or at least ortho that I use a lot uh, places that I fly a lot like North Carolina ortho and um, and I may put some some West Coast ortho on the SSD but most of it will 
continue to be housed on a drive other than um, the drive C. Let's see. We've got some ortho here. So, anyway, I thought it may be an interesting uh, series of videos that I can share as I rebuild X-Plane. Now, I've got a couple of days before that drive come in, um, so um, I will keep you guys posted just just keep coming back <laughs> all right guys so until next time y'all come back now dear